Oh my god, you just won Miss America. How are you gonna help the human race? World peace and world hunger and the HIV AIDS pandemic? What if I told you one of those things was possible? And not only possible, but already happening. Welcome to Easy with Ethan, where we try to make life a little easier. It's Media Monday, where every Monday we take a look at something happening in the news. Now, HIV can be a really scary topic. A lot of people see it as a death sentence, or simply ignore it as a gay problem. It's surrounded by fear and stigma to the point that a lot of people don't want to talk about it or even think about it. But what if we were nearing the end of the virus? Well, the truth is we are living in the final years of the HIV AIDS pandemic. What? How is this possible? Prep. What? What's, what's PrEP? Well, it's pre-exposure prophylaxis, duh. Pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP for short, is a pill that you take once a day that helps prevent HIV infection. And by helps prevent, I mean it lowers your risk of infection by up to 92% when taken consistently, even if you're engaging in unprotected sex. Not that you are. Okay, so let's say you're not taking it, or let's say that you missed a dosage, and you think you might have been exposed to HIV. Good news! You can start taking post-exposure prophylaxis, or PEP for short, within 72 hours of exposure and dramatically decrease your chances of getting infected. So PrEP is taken before exposure and PEP can be taken after exposure. The sooner the better. So let's recap. In 2016, there is a pill that you can take once a day that will help reduce your chances of getting infected with HIV to nearly 0%. This isn't some experimental trial that may be available to us in the next few years. This is a drug that was approved by the FDA in 2012 under the name of Truvada. Okay, so what's the catch? Well, the average cost of a 30-day supply of Truvada runs at about $1,500. Ouch, that's a bit pricey. And by pricey, I mean that's the average rent of a one-bedroom apartment in Los Angeles. But that's not the end of the discussion. First of all, the drugs manufacturer, Gallade Sciences, actually has a program that helps people pay for the drugs if they can't afford it. That's right, an American pharmaceutical company is sacrificing profits to help people fight HIV. Has hell frozen over? Because that's just weird. Secondly, there are places out there that are willing to help. For instance, the Los Angeles LGBT Center has a free clinic and pharmacy for people who can't afford it. That's right, if you if you live in Los Angeles and you need PrEP or PEP, you can go to the LGBT Center in Hollywood and get treated right now, even if you can't afford it. Now I know what you're thinking, I'm not gay, or I'm a woman, or I don't have unprotected sex, or my husband would never cheat on me. HIV is a virus. It doesn't care if you're a man or a woman, black or white, rich or poor, and it certainly doesn't care if your condom breaks. Accidents happen, exposure happens. HIV doesn't kill people. Stigma, fear, and lack of treatment do. We are at a point in history where we can close the chapter of a virus that has killed 39 million people. So please, talk to your doctor about PrEP, talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your partner. If we end the stigma and start the conversation, we end the pandemic. And one final thought, if you are infected with HIV, it's not a death sentence. It's a chronic but manageable illness that if treated, cannot stop anyone from living a long, healthy, and full life. Thanks for watching and make sure to share this video with all of your friends and family so we can end the HIV pandemic in our lifetime. Talk to you later, bye! Whoa, wait, wait, before you go, make sure you put in the comment section any suggestions you have for Media Monday. I'm always looking for new things I wanna learn and share with others, so please put it in the comment section below. Thank you.